The Ludwig Museum in Cologne is famous for its collection of artworks from the 20th and 21st centuries. Here it becomes clear that many contemporary artists like to experiment with unusual materials. Sculptures made of rubber, latex or plexiglass. Unfortunately, even synthetic materials start decaying at some point. Katrin Kessler is a restorer. She makes sure the exhibits are in good condition. This polyester figure from 1974 is by American sculptor Dwayne Hansen. It has been restored a number of times. Plastic allowed the artist to make a very lifelike figure, something artists were unable to do in the past. Wood, for example, wouldn't allow an artist to produce such fine detail. Restoring artworks like this one can be quite a challenge. Many such works consist of different types of material, and the restorer has to establish exactly what they're made of before they can begin. This sculpture by US artist Richard Serra has been on loan to other galleries. Now it is being examined for any possible damage. Artworks are often loaned out, but they can get damaged during transport. Richard Serra's trough pieces are over 40 years old. Serra was one of the first artists to use latex, a material that eventually turns hard and cracks. What we're dealing with here is latex turned brittle by oxygen. It reacts to the sulfur, so the material becomes hard and brittle. What we're going to do is pack it up. We'll wrap it in a foil and put oxygen absorbers inside. That way the latex won't come into contact with any more oxygen. Along with sunlight and humidity, oxygen is one of the main enemies of works of art. Experts like Katrin Kessler can often limit damage, but they can't always salvage a work once the damage is done. I see my main task as conservation. I look at the current condition of a work of art and do what I can to ensure it remains in this condition and doesn't decay any further. This plexiglass sculpture was made by Russian artist Naum Gabo in the 1930s, when plexiglass was still considered an exciting innovation. It took Katrin Kessler two years to find the right type of glue to restore the work of art, which is worth millions. Her profession requires a great deal of patience. Finding exactly the right materials and colors is a painstaking business. Contemporary art restoration is a highly skilled profession and it is one you can study here in Cologne. Experts like Katrin Kessler are in great demand. Visitors probably don't realize how much work goes into maintaining the exhibits. They just relax and enjoy them at Cologne's Ludwig Museum. But that's just the point. The cracks shouldn't show.